Hi, I'm Pete Calvetti and you're watching Cook This, where we take some of our local favorite restaurants and ask them to show us some of their favorite dishes that they make in their restaurant. But first to uh, introduce our celebrity panel of judges back, we have Mr. John Passarella. Thank you. Good morning, John. Good morning to you. As always, a colorful tie and shirt. Uh, I try my Thank best. You my wife loves me. <laughs> um, Mrs. Patty Farley. Hi. From the Culinary Division. Good morning. Good morning. And Miss Lisa Stefan. Hi, Lisa. Hi. Culinary. Um, today we're featuring one of our favorite Italian restaurants, Bella Via, located on 31st Street. And from Bella Via, we have the executive chef here, Mr. Eddie. So the first plate he's going to be uh, starting with us is Scampi. Carciofi over capellini or angel hair pasta. Okay. Eddie, welcome. Okay. Well, thank you for having me. Um, I'm going to start off by making a scampi carciofi. It means uh, artichoke hearts in Italian. Okay. I'm going to do it over uh, angel hair. I'm going to start off with uh, peeled clean shrimp, U10s. U10 is the size of the shrimp, so these are good sized chunky shrimp. Eddie, how long has the oil been uh, on? Because I always war wonder about that. You don't want to warm it up. It should be hot already. What? You know, as warm as you want it. Mm -hmm. you, you don't want it too hot because then the oil burns okay. and it turns into saturated fat. A couple minutes just before Not you put the shrimp minutes, in. A couple minutes, just a little warm. Okay. Just to saute it. I'm going to start off with minced garlic. Fresh okay. garlic in the plate is always good. Those are giant shrimp. You turn <laughs> There's nothing like garlic. Uh-uh. I love it. You never have enough never garlic. Have enough garlic. It's the best. I don't understand why they don't have garlic deodorant. Garlic? Oh. You think about it. <laughs> it's just not been tested yet. Trust me. We'll, we'll talk about that later. It smells good already. Oh, yeah. It's a good way Jeez. to pick up with girls. Hey, you got it, <laughs> See? And I love Eddie's accent. Tell me how long you've been at uh, uh, Bellavia? Um, four years. Four years? Pretty awesome. Is this your first restaurant that you've been the executive chef? Um, no, I used to work at uh, different ones, Zaza's, Lake Barrington. Well, I'm glad you're in Brookfield. Sorry for interrupting. No, no. Now I'm going to do some cherry tomatoes. God, you can smell that shrimp mm -hmm. already. Jeez. Oh, thank you. It smells wonderful. I can cook a little too. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I'm known to make a good cachetori once in a while. Cachetori. You know what that means? Uh, a hunt, uh, hunter's, hunter's food, I think? Yeah, it means ca uh, catch of the day. Yeah. Catch of the day? Where'd you learn how to cook it? Uh, my father. Awesome. And did well, he, he learn on his own or through culinary school somewhere? Or? Um, well, he went to culinary school. Sure. So it's in the I'm family. doing some capers, yeah. Mm -hmm. I love that smells so good. Mm. So is this this is uh, some type of wa uh, white sauce? Is this um, garlic, oil? garlic and oil, white wine. That's garlic it. And oil and white wine. Nice and simple. Capers go really well with a lot of seafood plates, right? Yeah, y you want to do capers. It gives it like a salty kick. Uh, I think I know where I'm taking my wife. She loves artichoke. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. This and then smells. last, just artichoke hearts already quartered. And did you take a whole artichoke and steam the artichoke? I mean, you could do fresh artichoke. This, these are canned artichokes. Okay, that's what I use yeah. frequently, but I just wondered. It's a lot faster. Mm -hmm. And you use cherry tomatoes, right? Yeah. Okay. Fresh. It adds a nice little touch, a little different. Instead of just chopping up tomatoes, it gives it a little elegance there, I think. It's different. I was say a favorite dish, because I'll tell you, as you continue to add to it, just the colors itself just look explosive. Mm -hmm. The green, the yellows, the oranges. Really? I would, I'd have the meal all over mm. the stove if I did that. Finish it off with a little white wine. Dry white or mm -hmm. sweet? It's uh, dry. What you want to do is let it simmer for about four or five minutes. Okay. Want to cook off the wine a little bit? Mm -hmm. it. Let it reduce, sweeten up, get the flavors all going. One ingredient that you put in there that really like, helps the uh, dish go over the top, if you had a single one up, that's in your opinion? Or is it all of them? Because I'll tell you, as you continue to add to it, the smell is just getting better and better. Yeah, I mean, the, the shrimp is what gives us the whole dish the flavor. You know, everything else just, you just, you, you know, yeah, you just add to it. It gives it the flavor from the fish. Yeah, it smells awesome. Does it take two, three minutes to, uh, to reduce the wine? Yeah, two, three minutes. You guys know reducing? 
We're basically no. cooking. We're basically cooking off the alcohol. So it just so we're getting like the, the real taste of the wine. And if you want, it's optional. You can add just a little, little butter. Mm. All right. Let's start plating. Julia Child would definitely add the butter. Julia Childs would. Yes, Julia. Add the Child butter. Love the butter. No mayo. Though. No mayo. Just the butter. Mrs. Farley was impressed with the uh, screen here. What would you call this? I've never seen that piece of equipment. Pasta, pasta oh, strainer. It's a pasta strainer. That's all. It's Nothing fancy. I know what I'm getting here for Christmas. Restaurant <laughs> store. <laughs> you know, that, I don't see that well, at Bed Bath & Beyond. A pasta pasta restaurant store. Restaurant store. We don't have a yeah. little pot like this. Well, when he's not looking, I'll grab it for you. <laughs> yeah. We'll create a diversion on the other put side. Put a little bowl set. on it. Okay. He seems like a decent. You drop your single serving, four <laughs> servings, whatever you drop it in there. It usually takes 30 seconds to reheat the pasta properly. Shake it out and plate it. You see that restaurants a lot where they have like, there's a, there's a lot on the menu. Mm -hmm. And obviously so if you're in there, you know, we had a relative who owned the restaurant in, in um, Rose Park again. That's the other and that's what plates. they would use. Yeah. Just drop it. Nice, and that's to keep your water hot at all times. At all. And so that's yeah. very nice. Because of the timing. you got to get one of those. No, only two. Really they have them in different sizes. I've seen them smaller. He said he could just they, they could just Yeah, we could have used it yesterday for our restaurant. They probably could tell you where to go. There's a restaurant about a place in the countryside. I know, I've been there. Yeah, they probably have. This is ready, is it? Pierce's. Pierce's. Is it Pierce? I don't mm -hmm. know. God, there's nothing so like you pre-cook your kitchen. pasta, obviously, and this is to just shock it warm again? Yeah. Okay. But Eddie, when you pre-cook it, it doesn't, how do you prevent it from sticking together? Oh, or just keep it in the water? Oh, no. Um, no. I, well, I mean, I, I we don't pre-cook them. Oh, I, the only reason why I pre-cook them is because we're, you know, here. limited time. Oh, okay. Because okay. right. this is why you have that, to prevent that. Yeah. So it's fresh. But so you can pre-cook pasta and it's no, still you works could, out you just could, fine. No, you could, but you cook it for about four minutes, so you mm -hmm. don't want to overcook it. Eddie Bellavia, how long has it been there? About four years. That's awesome. You need to go home. How far Clean west off of, third, off of um, First Avenue is it? Oh, it's right by my house. It's, oh, um, I don't know where you live. Uh, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't know where I live. I don't. Um, it's um, uh, just east of Maple. Correct, Ed? Yeah. East of Maple on the north side of the street. Mm -hmm. How many guests can you seat? Um, 130 downstairs and upstairs. We also have a, a banquet, banquet facility. Oh, oh great. That's, that's There's one here. upstairs. Maybe we should take a field trip. Yeah, that's a great awesome. Hey. See, I love it. That's, that's awesome. Presentation. I'll pass these down. Ladies. Got it. Right. I'm going to pass the colorful one to the center. You guys take a quick plate. bite before oh, we go to break and give me your thoughts. You bet. Mm. I'm going to start off with the uh, artichoke. I love the artichokes. So how many did you say you, you fit mm. downstairs? About 130. See, I think it's the capers. Oh. I think the capers are what help make everything pop. Wow, that, that tastes that's my wonderful. As usual, they get to eat and... Um, How are we doing, guys? What are your first thoughts? Obviously, Mr. John Preswell, so the presentation is awesome. Outstanding. Yeah, it's outstanding. I love the and sauce. The Very sauce? Good. The sauce is everything. I think the capers really help. I, make the dish pop. I, I just love capers in a dish. So. It's obvious why you're the head chef. Yes. I mean, seriously. Yes, this is, this just is great. Wonderful. Excellent. Well, that is Scampi Carchofi from Mr. Eddie Carchofi. here. Carchofi, we got to um, remember the shrimp, so the artichoke. I don't know that. Um, after the break, we're going to come back and make some honey with vodka. Hi, welcome back to Cook This. I'm your host, Pete Calvetti. And to reintroduce our celebrity panel of judges here, we have Mr. John Passarella. Thank you, Pete. Mrs. Patty Farley, morning. Culinary Division. And Miss Lisa Steffen. Hello. Good morning. And again, we have um, Bella Via here. We have the executive chef from Bella Via, Mr. Eddie. And our second plate we're going to be cooking this morning is some penne with vodka sauce. Take it over, Eddie. I'm going to start off with uh, diced onions. Just a rough chop, or does it matter? Uh, you, I mean, you want them small. You don't want big okay. chunks in your sauce. Okay. So it's diced versus chop? Yeah. I thought chop was diced. Nope. Nope. No. Oh, chop wow. is a little bigger. I've Chop's been missing bigger, then there's a dice, and then you can minced, mince it to make it really small. Uh, minced. I'm going to have to Google what that You can means. mince some garlic maybe. You can come to my class instead. A lot of it dissolves in the oil when it's so small. Foods one is doing knife cuts right now. That's why my meals don't smell like these meals. 
Just about maybe. Knife cuts for him. I'd go with like three cloves, three, three cloves, three, three four cloves. cloves. That's all you need. Never enough garlic. Nope. I know. Okay, mm. never enough. You can go two more. <laughs> Since we have an Italian judge panel over here, we can throw some extra garlic in. Daddy, you're a man of my heart. <laughs> I don't think my students are going to appreciate that. Ah, your students will be fine. <laughs> what's the uh, now, most what's popular plate at your restaurant? Uh, seafood. Really? I'd say uh, maybe uh, zuba di pesce. What does that mean? It's a, it means just I a don't know. It means like a mixture, like a mixture of seafood. Okay. Zupa means soup. Right. So it comes with a lot of juice. It's like a soup served over linguine. Mm. Linguine. Now, how do you decide your pasta? I'm always interested in that. Do you have a favorite one to work with as a chef? I know there's different flavors and different textures, but. Yeah. I mean, I mean, certain pastas, like with certain sauces, pick up the, like, just because of the shape, like, it picks up the sauce, you know? Mm -hmm. So, like. You know, you got a thicker sauce, so you use maybe penny or rigatoni because it's got, you know, it's got like a little hole in the middle, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's going to pick it up. But that's why I asked the question. Great question. But that's Thank why you're you. in the culinary. That's no, your it's a lot of linguine with seafood dishes, and I don't think I've ever seen a dish with penne, pasta, and seafood. No, that's no. what no. I. Yeah. You go there, you may. I'll do it, yeah. You work a lot, Ed? Are you there every night? Yeah, six days a week. So if, uh, when we go there, if I want to say, hey, can you send the chef out? Will yeah, I'll be you yeah. the tables or you just to come no, out with shiny there. shoes and a chef coat. There you go. <laughs> with like a, 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 the, uh, your utensils in hand. <laughs> I gotta get back to it. What I just did is I added a uh, prosciutto. Mm -hmm. You can use pancetta, you know, Italian ham. That's optional. It just it gives it like a little nice. flavor. Mm -hmm. What you want to do is you want to wait till it gets a little golden brown. So brown it up just a little bit. Yeah. Prosciutto. Eddie, four years ago when it all began. You're sitting there making, creating your menu. As you said, your father was there too. Yeah. And obviously, the, the, uh, the man, the owner. I mean, do you sit there and go, okay, here's how we're going to do this? Is that how that's done? I mean, you're sitting down creating your menu. As you're as you're cooking, if you don't mind sharing how that's done, I mean, you know, like you're saying, you're adding brisket or whatever you're putting in there, but. I mean. How do you come to that? These recipes are, you know, they're old. You know. Most of them are handed down right. nowadays. You know. Yeah, but you, I'm just I mean, as. How that happens. The, just add a shot of vodka. I mean, as you like, you know, you get re recipes, you can always add on, take sure. off, and sure. you know. Yeah, that's what makes it unique. That's what makes it unique, you're right. That's got one cool. can of plum tomato. Plum tomato? Mm -hmm. Yeah, whole peeled plum tomato. Hmm. Wow, that looks, that's bright red. It's starting to really, the aroma, you can just smell it, gosh. Between the garlic onions and then the pancetta. Oh. Have you had pancetta before? Uh, I don't recall. No, no it's excellent. Jeez. It's like an Italian ham, Italian bacon, big fat content. Really good. What you want to do is add a little fresh basil. Salt, pepper. Do you find when you're at the family parties, they're going, no, you're going to cook, not me? They want <laughs> you there? Actually, all my family owns restaurants, so. Serious. So everyone's cooking. So everyone's <laughs> cooking? Oh, what's a family There's party no chairs, like? There's like a big right. kitchen. No, our family parties are crazy. For I <laughs> can imagine. You got enough food to feed a thousand people for 20 people. I'll sure. give you my uh, cell phone. Give me a bug. Invite we'll <laughs> yeah. right us to the next one. Yeah, Great. we're happy to have the dog What you want to do is uh, you can add uh, heavy whipping cream. A little mascarpone cheese is optional. Get the plates out of here. Get plating up. You drop your pasta. There we go again. I'll tell you. I'll tell you, vodka has come a long way in the last couple of years, I would say. It's become really popular. I don't remember growing up with vodka pasta. Did no. you grow up with vodka pasta? No. I didn't either. And, but I'll tell you, it's probably one of my top three favorite sauces nowadays. Is this something about the. Well, of that it's the fusion. The it's the cream and the red now. Cream mm -hmm. and the red is like wow. that's the hot thing now. I mean, look at that. Just leave it in. It takes what seconds? I think I'm just gonna have water boiling in my house all the time. I think just, right. Good for adding moisture yeah, to done. the air too. Mm -hmm. There's other health benefits. 
Oh, this one. Right. Well, I gotta get Eddie <laughs> over there cooking because right. I don't have the time for it. It does right. take time. I love how he does it. Mm -hmm. He hasn't missed once. A little pepper. All you have to do is practice with uh, is that it? croutons. Yeah. Croutons. Because mm -hmm. they're easier to pick up. I wonder if Eddie did that. Did you practice croutons when you started the original flipping or you went right to the big stuff? To the <laughs> no, I didn't <laughs> You didn't practice? No, I actually dropped everything my first time. <laughs> And your father said, well, we're going to talk more. <laughs> Smell that in here. It smells wonderful. There you go. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's a great smell. Yeah. My son would love the beer for this. That's his favorite sauce. So, John, if you're out there, I'm not sure. <laughs> it's my son's favorite sauce, too. Seriously? Yeah. yeah. John loves it. All right, a little garnish. I love how the presentation is critical. I, it's not oh, just yeah. the meal. And who makes it look no, so it's how it comes out. Easy. That's the first I'll impression. Down. Once again, I'm going to give you the colorful plate in the center. Okay, I'm going to give it a try. The balance. Yes, I know your art principles apply. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God, it smells wonderful. Turn it on low. Bubbling oh dash. Yeah. Oh, I have oh. never mm. tasted vodka sauce. It's ridiculous. Mm. My favorite pasta. Yeah, this you guys give me your first impression over here? Outstanding. Yeah. Out of sauce control. Sauce is nice and rich. Very rich. Yeah. But nice not too thick, rich. So it all not comes together. Right. So yeah. it's not too rich that you don't want to eat the whole thing. It's a lovely balance. The only thing I'm missing is about half a loaf of bread. Mm -hmm. so I can be pushing bread, some butter, and some red wine. Oh, my mm -hmm. God. Well, you is, got some vodka there. This is the best sauce I've ever eaten, vodka sauce. This is Excellent. Well, I'm going to have to try that then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The best. Thank Excellent. You. Well, good job, Mr. Eddie. That's our second play. That's penne with vodka. Of course, the um, ingredients and the recipe is going to be available with the show. Um, we're going to come back. We're going to make uh, one of those old time classics, veal marsala, after the break. Hi, welcome back to Cook This. I'm your host, Pete Calvetti. And for the last time, we're introducing our celebrity panel over here, Mr. John Passarella. What do you mean the last time we're done? It's <laughs> the last second, John. Back. It's the last meal you're getting of the day. After Eddie cooked, I'm coming back. <laughs> yeah. Mrs. Patty Farley. Hi. I and uh, Miss Lisa Stephan. Hi. Thank you very much, guys. And again, we have Mr. Eddie here from Bella Via, um, one of the local favorite Italian restaurants, cooking our final plate, which is going to be veal marsala. Take it away, Eddie. I'm going to start with just uh, veal medallions are pounded. You can buy them in the store, you know, already cleaned and cut, but you're going to have to pound it yourself. Look how focused he is. <laughs> Driven, calm. <laughs> his, wor his work is explosive, like an artist. Seriously. It's true. That's why it's called a culinary art. Oh, my God. What I'm doing is dipping <laughs> it in the flour so it don't stick to the pan. Just plain old flour. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't have, I mean. Nothing special. Mm -mm. No you Italian. just don't want to stick into the pan because it's, it's a very delicate meat and it'll rip apart. Especially once the, the veal's pounded, it becomes very thin. And it's like, it, like it'll rip apart if you, you know, sticks to the pan. Is that hot enough there? Yeah, because the sizzle. Mm. Oh, I see the sizzle from here. Yeah. You want to make sure it sizzles very little. It doesn't burn you when you, when you drop it in. <laughs> you think any, we've talked about this before, Pete. They don't have smell vision yet. No. no, it's a dirty shame. Yeah, it's tough. That's but Eddie's coming home with, with us. We've already discussed this. He's, uh, he's done at Bellevue. Or well, we're going by his family parties from what we hear. There you yes. go. Yeah. yeah. I think I'm available Saturday. From, uh, Saturday I'm available. <laughs> exactly. We'll follow him home. <laughs> so you want to add a little salt and pepper? So you add salt and pepper? Olive oil. Are we um, cooking in olive oil? Yes, olive okay. oil. I figured. I just want to make sure. So how long has this plate been around? This plate's been around... This comes from the olden days, huh? Yeah. Veal Marcella? It's more of an American dish. Oh, is it, it is? Italian American, yeah. Really? Okay. Well, because we have all the cattle. I, actually, when I went to Italy a few years ago, you know, I never saw a dish like that. Really? Veal Marsala or chicken Vesuvio. That's more like Italian American, you know? Gotcha. Where'd you go back mm. to Italy? Where at? In Naples. Naples. Mm. You're back there. Are they all impressed with how you're doing cooking wise? Is yeah. Is that exciting? I mean, the food over there, yeah, I, I like. To me, I, I can't compare because, it, you know, it's a lot better over there. Oh, God, it's, yeah. it's, it's, Fresh ingredients. it's not like they, they cook better. It's just like the ingredients they use, you know. And the regional cuisine is really set, sets Italians apart, correct? So yeah. Naples has a very distinct um, cuisine compared to southern Italy, like 
Yeah, Am southern and northern Italian, they're real different cuisine. And cuisine. how would you define the difference? Southern is more like, not to say like we're poor, but more pork cooking, you know? Mm-hmm. And the onions. You're following in the footsteps of your father, right? Uh, make him real proud. Yeah, sure. Seriously. I mean, no. I mean, he's a sh he's the chef there also. Yeah, but he's the executive. Yeah, so that's pretty. Executive, I am too. He's just morning chef. But if he's there with you, he's the executive. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you think you are, right, and you might be, and he's watching this, tell him he is, because you're dumb if not. Well, it's got to be very impressive. That's the, as yeah. you said, family is, your chefs throughout your family. Yeah. I just added some quartered mushrooms um, and a little salt pepper. Just a basic button mushroom, mm -hmm. or are those? Now, if you want, it's optional. Usually, I don't do it, but you can add garlic. I knew you were going to say that. These are all chef burns, right? Yeah. <laughs> I used to be covered with those things. Chef when you're, well, you're reaching in the oven all the time for plates, and oh, you're always seriously. getting singed by the by the grill. No, that, that's actually from working with my dad. We get in fights. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, burn each, we, we, we burn each other with the hot <laughs> <laughs> That's a unique discipline technique. <laughs> but, he, the, he, but he doesn't have any of those, right? Stem. <laughs> I know I've said it three times, but I'm impressed on your, what, your flipping technique. Well, when you're in the kitchen and you got 20 tickets up, actually, most people, you can do two at a time. I'm impressed on how that gets done. That's just yeah. my body. Practice. Plus, when you make a plate 40 times a night, sure. you know, it's, it's flip, flip, plate. Speaking of that, your favorite plate to make. Or one of them. Maybe not your favorite, but something you really enjoy making. Make sure. I really like making sauces. Yeah? Maybe like vodka sauce. I sure. like making, you gotta take, you, know, you gotta, it takes a little more time, you know, you don't just slap You're creating everything. something there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're creating some of that mm -hmm. sauce. And you're creating that sauce that's being used on. And you can make it different every single time. Oh, yeah. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. You know, put no onions. One so time it tastes totally different. You put extra onions, it's sweeter. And you're making your, obviously, your own vodka sauce. Yeah. That's the recipe I like to get. Well, you can secret. buy it in the store. I know, I just did, mentioned. but now I feel embarrassed. Okay. I'm sitting next to a master chef, and I bought vodka sauce in a jar. No, 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 uh, but you can go to their restaurant and, oh, and I'm buy going to some. now. Yes, that's what they told them. Oh, what I'm doing is just adding about, a, say, a quarter cup of Marsala wine. Yeah. And there's that smell. There's, mm -hmm. For those of you who love Chicken Italian broth. or not, this restaurant, the smells that are coming off this, this plate today are, are mind-boggling. I'll say it for you, smell of vision. Uh, smell of vision. Uh, yeah, I thought I'd take your line. I'm uh, Oh, okay. No, it's fine. Wow. Any so special so mushroom yeah. in this no, dish, or can yeah. we use, are those baby bella mushrooms, button mushrooms? No, they're just regular mushrooms. Okay. You can you can use a uh, cremini. Mm-hmm. Well, those are... I, I want to know. I want to go more like hard. exotic mushrooms. No. Though. That would take a couple more minutes to reduce, so we're going to give you some of the stuff he has prepared here. Okay. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. How many chefs are in the kitchen at, at any time, possibly? Ask. About three, four. Three or four. Because obviously, as the head chef, uh, you're overseeing chefs. No, I mean, I, I cook. You cook. Those students that are getting involved in culinary arts, um, and I know Ms. Farley here, that's her field, but what's your, th what's your suggestion for you? You go pass you know, like, Get down oh, that track. That's a great question. Thank I mean, it's Because a lot good. of our students here, like the one to our left, that's their, their, their aspirations are <coughs> to be where you are. Yeah. I mean, it's something you really want to have to do, you know. It's a lot well, of hard work. You're in the work. kitchen so long, so you got to love what work. you do. Mm -hmm. You know, but, chefs, but you're in there 10 hours, so. you, they're not going to start as the head chef. Is it true they start? They may be doing salads and things of that nature in some <laughs> restaurants, depending on the restaurant, like to begin <coughs> their journey to where you are. I don't know about that, but uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. A lot of times you start. That's below you, right? A lot of times you start at prep. Okay, yeah, you you start start you're prep. the one yeah, cutting the mushrooms, the onions. Okay. It's always good to like get a feel of like what it's like to work in the kitchen. You For know? sure. Well, that's my, you, my, my you might question. you might love to cook, but then you, you know, then you go in the kitchen, you like you know, screw this, you know. Hmm. Well, the okay, sauce is this awesome. is awesome. I mean, seriously, this is ridiculous. I can't believe this is an Italian American dish. I I love. I can't believe I haven't been at Bella mm -mm. as much as um, after yeah, this this yeah, this yeah, episode. Yeah. It's, it's oh. for those of you like, and I mean this. Cooking. The Italian restaurant. So let's get your impression, Miss Lisa, before you uh, put that in your mouth. Um, I like the veal. It's like nice and soft. It's soft easy to chew. From the like pounding mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. The this sauce. The sauce is phenomenal. Is Marcella wine a little sweeter? Yeah. 
Yeah, and you can, it definitely. Well, the one I use is a dry, dry sweet. Okay. You know, okay. you well, can get the, you can get the other ones. It's more of a bitter. It's not like too sweet. Okay. I like using the sweet one. Yes, it's very nice. Mr. Pesaro? I've eaten a lot of Italian food, and, and I mean, this is just phenomenal. This whole setup, everything was great. Phenomenal. I've never mm -hmm. eaten So we had some scampi, some penne vodka, and some veal marsala from one of the favorite Italian restaurants in the area, Bella Via. I want to say thank you to Mr. Eddie for bringing some beautiful plates here. Thank you. Uh, they do have entertainment on the weekends. They are serving breakfast now. So check them out, and until our next show, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Nobody.